So, Chris, do want to start us off with the Sunbelt expansion talk, okay? Now, the Sunbelt expansion stuff, I'm I'm wary of, right? Like, this is stuff that broke on Friday. Keith Gill is the, the commissioner of the Sunbelt Conference, and the AAC, of course, is talking about expanding and this and that, and we all kind of assumed that the AAC would be grabbing some teams from the Sunbelt. This is all aside from the fact that I said that all of them need to just tear up their contracts and renegotiate together, right? Every G5 league needs to get together and do it together so that you can do all these regional rivalries. You can, it'll make it much easier on everybody. Cut down on Not costs. Not just easier. I think they're worth more. It's I think worth the games more. are worth more. Yes. I think they're more valuable that way. Yes, I agree. So, but the Sun Belt is coming out on the offensive, man. The Sun Belt has said, hey, we are looking at expansion. This is the direction that we are going to go. Now, I do want to talk about some potential candidates. We're going to hit this very quickly, and then we got some games to discuss. But the potential candidates that I'm looking at for the Sun Belt, UAB, for sure, biggest college football market out there. They're putting in a brand new 47,000 seat stadium in the middle of downtown Birmingham. Like it is, that is the dream, I think, for the Sun Belt. Grab UAB. Now, Liberty, I think, is also another one that is very, very into very into football, right? They they focus on that in a big, big way. They have hired big-name coaches. They continue to invest in the program. That's another one. Marshall as well. That may be a little outside of that Sunbelt footprint that they currently have, but at this point, if you were looking for football powerhouses, Marshall is certainly one. They've got a proud history there. I would go there. Uh, and then there's three others that I tossed out. Old Dominion, there's a lot of people inside the industry, uh, according to The Athletic, et cetera. And guys that I know that actually work on the administrative side in college football have told me Old Dominion has everything set up to be able to win, and they are finally putting resources into the program. So Old Dominion is a possibility, maybe? UTSA and FAU. Those are two other ones, because Texas and Florida, you're always going to want footprints there. Do you want to add those? I I believe, yeah, I, I could see those absolutely working. So this would be taking from uh, Conference USA and Liberty, of course, and Independent. Do you feel crazy about any of those? No. I mean, I do think that the American <clears throat> should go hard after UAB. And if you're a UAB, you'd probably rather be in the American than in the Sun Belt. But, um, but no, I, I don't, I don't, you know, I think it's the right move. Yeah. I mean, if you're the Sun Belt, it, you, you got to go on the initiative. You got to go on the offensive because if the AAC comes after teams, they're probably coming after your teams. Now, uh, does the Sun some Belt, of them. Does the some Sun, of them. Yeah. Does the Sun Belt go after possibly some AAC teams now that the AAC is in a weakened position, right? This is kind of the same thing we thought, does the AAC go after Big 12 teams? Well, it kind of flipped them, right? The Big 12 ended up taking AAC teams, and now the AAC is left in a weakened state. So if I'm the Sun Belt, like I go after some of these Conference USA teams, and I, I maybe reach out to you know South Florida. I reach out to some of these other ones that, that you know are putting in investments into the football program. But yeah. who knows how all this is going to shake out. I'm, I'm excited about it one way or the other. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.